Good morning. I've got a bit of a sidewinder. I don't know what that means. But um, I've got something to say. <laughs> My stomach has to. I've got something to say which I'm sort of not a little bit sure about. It's kind of slightly alteration on my current, if you like, understanding of things. Um, but, and, but first of all I'm going to say something about <laughs> something else, but it's still a little bit sort of unknown. Right. It's about the number of Earths living planets in the universe where God is, if you like, growing his, her children. Blimey, what's the matter? Um, now, I currently believe that there are seven living planets in the universe. Earth being, like, number five. And One of the things I'm thinking is that there might be 14. They might be like pairs. So that, that was the one thing I said. I'm going to elaborate on that a little bit. Uh, but not yet. <laughs> right. So. I'll start here. Right. May the 22nd, two days ago. Um. I was meditating and I had probably the strongest wave feeling that I've had and I say wave feeling in a sense of it's something which is happening to all of us. Um, it was really strong, it lasted a long time, like I'd say maybe like 10 minutes or something which is, which is a long time. And I feel it was certainly causing a change. And I think um, it was slightly different in that um, usually when I get big feelings I'm pretty much soon, immediately afterwards, I'm sort of really feeling good about it and I understand what it is. And with this one I was, wasn't so sure exactly what it was and, and I felt that it was... Um, a couple of days needed just to sort of uh, kind of yeah you know, repair or just sort of equalize after the <laughs> after the feeling it was a big one it was a big one and I just could do enough to just do a little tweet saying that was a biggie <laughs> just to get the the time down now the day before, I didn't think anything was going to happen, you know, it, I wasn't sure, but it did pop into my mind this Earth being the fifth planet, and therefore in the fifth month of this year is when our Earth has kind of made its change. And that the other planets in the universe have made their changes at other times. So let's say the previous month, 22nd, perhaps because things were kind of happening, um, the, the fourth planet in the universe made their change. And on the third month, the third planet made their change. And on the second month, the second planet made their change. Now I don't think the first planet, Faith, made their change in January. So I think that's to come. I think that will be the last one on August 22nd. That's what I think. It, I, you know, puzzling, but yeah. And and so that's good, isn't it? <laughs> it's, sort of, it's happening. It's, if you can believe it. Um... So about why I'm thinking there may be pairs of planets, so there would be 14 
living earths all in all it's partly because of the numbers I'm thinking if there's supposed to be 28 billion half souls on each planet and we've only got 7 billion alive at the moment that would mean 3 quarters are in the spirit world and there's something else which is making me wonder if that can be true and the other thing is that I'm thinking is that yes in a sense everybody here is on their second life within the last 6,000 years that everybody here now say who was born after 1947 say roughly is um, on their second go okay and then that would mean that uh, there's there's more of us on the planet than than I thought in the ratio of God's children round this planet so if God's children round this planet was just 14.4 billion um, to then make the numbers add up to the number of black holes in the universe there would need to be 14 planets and I'm thinking maybe they're in pairs so maybe uh, you know because we've got I I once did a sort of a, a projection and I feel like I went to a, plan, a planet kind of nearby around the star of Sirius maybe and people do bring that Sirius one up so it's possible that that we're, we're, we're in pairs and that there's another justice number five planet near us and with each of the others there'll be two planets and they're sort of pairs yeah, I quite like it. And I quite like thinking that, yes, everybody everybody who's lived a life in the last 6,000 years is now on their, their number two. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. This video is a sort of like, a, I, you know, this is, this is stuff I'm just sort of starting to think about, so... Sort of no sort of final conclusions, I'm just kind of running with it a bit. Um, yeah, so, and it's, it is interesting when you look at the population of the Earth, how it really does boom, sort of gradually beginning from 1920s to the 1960s. You really then, you know, going up in billions, whereas before... It really, you know, it was moving pretty slowly if you look at the whole picture of it. So I think that's quite interesting, something I'll think more about. And so each Earth is having its, what would you call that, um, May the 22nd? It was like a, it felt like um, things have to change. It's like, you know, and it's got to be done. Everybody's got to do it. They might not want to do it, but here we go. This is going to, uh, in a sense, enable it or cause it to happen, cause the change to happen, sort of. So that's really good news. If if that's true, that we've we've done our bit, we've we've got through that, we've we've survived that. And next month, June 22nd, the planet number six, or the pair of planets number six, uh, peace, we'll do theirs. July the 22nd, pair of planets number seven, goodness, we'll do theirs. And then August 27th, pair of planets one, faith, we'll do theirs. And then perhaps it will be September the 22nd when... You know, <laughs> we all come together. Who knows? It's just, it's just interesting. I stuff I like thinking about. It's fun and uh, yeah. And I was having, so I was having this really strong feeling on May the twenty second, and um, 
I brought a lot of people into it. I don't know if anyone else, like, if you get this feeling that of the one love and we're all one sort of thing, except I've made videos on how that's half right. You, um, you know, you do tend to sort of want to reach out to people <laughs> because it feels very, yeah, so I was, I was sort of thinking, well, both helping and asking for help as well. I was thinking of people that I thought might need help and I was thinking of people that I thought could help. So there was all that going on. And sort of, I don't know, you just get a sense that the next couple of days afterwards just sort of seeing people in the streets or whatever and uh, yeah, I just felt there's um, change underneath. I think it is. It's good. Uh, what was the other thing? I was, that was it really. I know I haven't explained it very well. What didn't I explain very well? Well, all of it. <laughs> it's like words, do you know what I mean? What are words good for? Well, if you're a master of them. I just go with the flow, but then I, you know, probably forget to say things. Maybe I won't even upload this. Crap, really, isn't it? It's crappity crap, crap. 